Sir Vedas Singh jumping or when we bounce? Yeah. When we bounce. That's perfect, Veda. Arjun. Or Arjun, another example in like a similar way is like when we're dribbling a ball, like it goes up and down. Yes. Dribbling a ball, you you know, throw the ball down and the ball bounces. It's good. Yeah. You play basketball, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So Arjun is silent today. What happened? Arjun, you're well? I think all of you, Shaumik and uh, Varnika, can you come up with some examples? Shaumik and Varnika, any examples? Okay, yeah, so jumping is an example. Fine. Yes, sir. So let me tell you, what Alex said is, you know, everything that is happening, is an example so example of Newton's third law, right? Anything you're standing, you're pushing the ground down, and ground is pushing you up. That's why you're able to stand. You're sitting on your chair, you're pushing the chair down, the chair is pushing you up. Now that's why you're not your chair is not breaking, right? So anything that is happening in the universe can be taken as Newton's example of third law. Every action has an opposite reaction every third law right fine fine arjun no issue right yeah be comfortable so next thing so i hope uh, all of you are getting it anything anything that you can think of but uh, sir and sir if you said that uh if i if i if i punch my book then it would give an equally opposite reaction it would definitely you know your, your knuckles would hurt a bit uh uh, so, because see, your book, if it goes back, it will not give equal reaction, right? So, I'll, I'll yeah. give you another very interesting example. You must have seen this uh, stunt being done, people breaking bricks with their heads. Uh, uh, morally with their hands, but yeah. Yeah, hands, legs, heads, right? Yes, yeah, so, sir, I don't know how they do that. Uh, so they they condition their hands. And they condition their hands slowly, that's fine. But I tried it, sir. It hurts a lot. I hit yeah, my hand on the wood. Now, you know, if at all, uh, don't do that. Uh, you know, that's not advisable for you. But if the brick doesn't break, then the person would... It's funny it. because you said your hand was injured because it's my hand that's injured too. Okay. So, Arjun, did you try that stunt or what? No, I was cycling and then I fell down. Okay, fine. Different so stuff. I wouldn't punch my notebook. Uh, I'm I'm telling about uh, notebook is a uh, uh, see this one. Let's let's take the example of bricks. Then you'll understand it better. So when you are hitting the brick with your hand, if the brick breaks, then your hand will get hurt. I mean hurt less. But if the brick doesn't break, then it will hurt more. Right? Because if the brick doesn't break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will... I understand. Uh, we were studying the third law of motion just like. Yesterday, I think in science class too. So, so it's distributing the force for the body. No, if the brick breaks, then what is happening? So when the it does reaction, not break, if it doesn't break, the reaction given by this will be more. If it breaks, what is happening? See, I'm giving you the same example. If I keep on pushing the bench down, you no, know, when my force is greater than the force that the bench can apply, what will happen? My hand will go down. Right. And the reaction offered by the bench or the table is less than the force that I'm applying. So when the brick brick breaks, then the reaction is less than the force you're applying. But if the brick doesn't break, then the reaction is equal to the force that you're applying. So in that case, so if you, if the brick doesn't break, then he'll get hurt more. Right. Similarly, if you are uh, don't let's not take notebook because somebody has to hold a notebook. Let's say you hit you punch a cardboard. If the cardboard breaks will get less hurt and if the cardboard doesn't break then you'll get hurt more fine and that because of reaction uh, if it breaks the reaction would be less and if it doesn't break it will be same fine so now let's uh, you know so what i wanted to say is when i when you're swimming the common example where we use newton's third law directly when you are swimming what do you do uh, you push water back and the water pushes you forward that's Newton's third law. Getting it? 
and uh, kirtana uh, you are talking about walking when you are walking what is happening is the your foot and ground are bound by friction we'll be discussing about friction when we study about friction and so there's one thing i have to ask yes alex if you jump if you are jumping from a height such so like skydiving heights and you land on water so will you get hurt Uh, you will uh, get hurt but you'll get of hurt. course you'll get hurt have you uh, haven't you ever jumped off a diving board before so you will get no hurt, actually it was not allowed for kids okay oh well i mean i try uh, i tried doing I'm... a belly flop and uh, okay, that was fine. the worst yeah, mistake yeah yeah uh, that's that's uh, so nice of you people but then you know it would hurt and that's why there is a specific way in which you have to you know hit the water Hands first. Yeah, the smallest body, right? to biggest from your fingers yeah. to your. So body. what is happening? The surface area, if it is less, the uh, if the surface area that is coming in contact with the water is less initially, then will uh, be less hurt. And if you directly fall on your belly, then you'll be really you know hurt badly. Right. So you will get hurt. So it's not that you'll not get hurt. Right. Uh, so now this one is clear. I hope this is clear. Newton's third law is clear. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. That's first thing. And the second thing was what action and reaction will always act on different points. 